Hello, 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 and welcome to today's video today. I hope you guys are ready for some major clean out action. I'm hot, hold on. I just came upstairs and suddenly I can't breathe and I'm hot and I'm out of shape. So today we're gonna be cleaning out my bathroom. Now, I did a bathroom clean out video over almost two years ago. And that's the last time I cleaned out my video. Maybe it was like a year and a half ago, but that's the last time I cleaned out my bathroom. So with that being said, we absolutely have to clean it out today. My drawers are packed full, so much clutter, so much junk I'm not using. And I really just need to organize everything and deep clean the bathroom. So that's what we're going to be doing today for all my organization and cleaning junkies. I think you will enjoy today's video. And if you don't like cleaning, maybe this video will help inspire you to clean a little area that you've been neglecting, such as your nightstand. Do some laundry, clean up the closet, clean up that chair pile with piles and piles of clean clothes. Maybe pull out some clothing that you're not using anymore and donate it. Get rid of old makeup products, old skincare products you're not using. Because I'm telling you what I have learned through all this cleanup process, I enjoy space more than I enjoy things. I enjoy opening drawers and seeing everything that I have more than opening up drawers and just be packed full of clutter and like hard to get to the things you have and you forget half the stuff you have because it's so packed in. So, we're gonna tackle the bathroom today. I hope you guys are excited about that. And with that being said, be sure and subscribe to my channel before you leave for more clean out videos. Cause you know, a girl loves to clean. And we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. So I'm gonna take you to my bathroom. I'm gonna show you the clutter. We're gonna review it. And then we're gonna jump into cleaning. Happy Monday. This is Monday, by the way. Are you ready to enter the land of clutter? Also known as my bathroom. Let's go ahead and see what we're working with. Okay, it's not that bad. <laughs> Here's the thing, it's not that bad. We have a lot of clutter in these drawers. I am fooling you with the top. There's tons in here, tons in here, a lot in there, and then these drawers are, behold, all of the mess. So I'm about to show you the real clutter. What we like to do is just pull everything off the top of the sink and just dump it into the drawers. I don't know if you guys have that cleaning method. It doesn't really clean, it just moves clutter from one place to another, but yeah, that's it. Also, just FYI, I am gonna be changing up a lot in my bathroom, so you're kinda seeing the before right now. We're gonna do new cabinets and a new bathtub, and we're probably gonna do a really cool plaster on these walls, and I'll do a new chandelier, so probably sell these pieces and yeah, I also got this new mirror in here. We used to have two separate mirrors. I don't know if you guys remember that, but we switched it out for this huge mirror, which makes this bathroom look 10 times bigger, looks way more luxe. And then I also changed the sconces. They're really beautiful. When they're lit up, they give like a warm sensation, a very cozy vibe in here, especially when you're taking a bath at night. They're bomb. Also this bathtub, if you're wondering they're like, why are you getting a new one? It's great. So the space is huge, absolutely huge for a bathtub. And they said, doop. So also someone who's helping me design this bathroom agreed. They're like, yeah, this bathtub is awkwardly small for the space, so I'm gonna sell it. We're, she's searching right now for a bigger one, one that's not so classical looking. This one looks very classical. And we're gonna go more rustic instead of so like, clean and modern because it's gonna go with the plaster we're putting on the walls. This is my bird of paradise plant and my cats pee in it all the time. But it does not kill, you can't kill this plant, it's real. So what I got from Amazon, i just put that back in there. It's these plastic things and you like screw them into the dirt. So it creates a plastic barrier and then you can put like dirt or moss or whatever over it and your cats can't dig and pee. So I'm gonna add those in there. This I'm getting rid of, it's old. Got some staining on it. I don't use it, it just holds junk. So I'm gonna get rid of it. And now let me give you a tour of the drawers because honestly it's the good stuff. I do like the amount of counter space but I absolutely hate the color of these drawers now. This is like, again, if you've been following with me, we've been getting rid of blue grays out of my home. We've gotten rid of all the silver hardware in my home and I think this bathroom's the last of it. I'm looking for something wooden, more modern, more sleek. So these aren't gonna be here that much longer, but what a great reason to clean it all out. So here on top of my cabinet, we have some skincare that I love. Genesifique. Uh, this is a mask that is so bougie. It was gifted. 
This is my Santal 33. The fragrance is one of my favorites from Le Lovato. And this is the hand moisturizer. And then I also, from Le Lovato, have the hand soap. It's bomb. I'll link them down below. I don't know if you guys remember in my Ulta haul, I picked this up. I do like it. The Moon Mouthwash. Got some Oral-B toothbrushes on the wall. Got some backup toothbrushes. This mirror is from CB2, a candle, jewelry, hairspray. Let's look in the drawers. So the first drawer isn't so bad. This is like the skincare I reach for all the time. I mean, I could get rid of a lot of stuff in this drawer though. So it's not so bad. It has some organizing trays. It's a little over full, but now I have an overflow drawer and that is this. <laughs> this is some hair products. Not too bad, but too many in there. And then this drawer is just full of hair tools. Down here is a mess. It's just, I really want to get this cleaned up and make it look so much nicer. This is where I keep my bath cloths and my like hair towels. Down here is a mess. It's where I just keep, I don't even know what's all in there and hairbrushes. This is, can see, I can use this space better. Like one of these in here. Another, another mess. Oh look, this is tight. So it's a little more organized, but we're going to dive into it and really clean it out as well. And then up here is supposed to look much better than this, but I've just been piling junk on. This is one of my favorite moisturizers ever. I broke the squirt nozzle on it, so now I have to like hold it tight when I use it, but it still works. I'm obsessed to use it every time I get out of the shower or bath. And then these are some of Ty's favorite fragrances. This one's unisex, I wear it all the time. It smells so good from All Saints. And this is his YSL one that he likes. And then we have a Summer Fridays mask. I don't know why it's over here, but some more of my junk that has fallen over. What I'm also gonna do is pull all this stuff out of the bath and out of the shower so we can really go through everything we have and see what we need. <laughs> Taking you into my shower, I wanna show you some of the products we have. <laughs> look, look, even this is cluttered. So this is one of my conditioners. Ty brushes his teeth in here. Why does he have two? This is a deep conditioner product that I've been using. It's pretty good. I'm trying to figure out if it makes my hair greasy or not. I'm like, are you the culprit? But it may not be because I only put it on the ends, but I do like it. it makes your hair feel so soft. But Olaplex is also really good, which I always keep some of that in here, especially if you have a bleached hair, baby, you need some Olaplex in your life. This is empty, Ty loves this as do I. I've really been enjoying this face wash from Herbivore. It is a coconut oil shower gel from Kapari. This is a one that smells good too. It's from Necessary. This is a deep, uh, deep conditioner leave-in treatment. And then as you can see, I don't wash my hair often, but this is my shampoo and conditioner from Function of Beauty. Okay guys, what's up? <laughs> I am going to start by pulling everything out of the drawer here. I already have like a ton of stuff on my cabinet. Oh my god. But I feel like if you pull everything out, then you can really go through and evaluate everything. Like this is empty, ma'am. And just see what you really need. So that's what we're gonna be doing. And I'll go through the product and keep as well. So you guys can kind of see the tea on everything and like what I like, what I'm not using. I love this stuff right here to shave my face with. It's a really nice oil. My lids are off of everything. I'm the queen of losing lids. I hate them having to like duck, but so you guys can see both. My camera's just not that far back. One empty container. Give me the youth. Will it? Is it a gimmick? I don't know. I don't know why getting old in our society is valued as such a terrible thing whenever we should be lucky to get old, you know? It's like a blessing to live your life and to be able to get old and to have that time in life because not everyone gets to, so. I don't understand why it's valued as such a like, stay young forever and all that kind of stuff. Like, oh, you're getting old, like it's a bad thing, you know? It's weird. Sure is the one we're tackling next. This just has my overflow skincare, so I'm just gonna move that stuff to over here. The back of my hair is a monstrosity. Still have some stuff in the box, but I can't wait to use it after this video and I get like everything organized. This product I have had for a long time. I have another, no, this is it, huh? I thought I had two. But I used this deep cleanse on my face because I had so much makeup on. 
Holy crap, it's the thickest cleanser ever, but my God, it felt so good, like bomb. So I also have a mini and I'm gonna keep it because Tatcha skincare is fire. I have these new drops from Glow Recipe. This is a good daily cleanser that I have not been using. This is a game changing exfoliator. Like seriously, it's probably one of the strongest exfoliators ever and you only put it on for like one to two minutes and your skin will be like new. I feel like this is gross and old. <laughs> We haven't even gotten into emptying out hair product yet. We got the drawer cleaned out. We got the drawer cleaned out. Um, there's a bunch of lids in here. I don't know, Dior, I don't know. Probably just need, look at this, like a nozzle. <laughs> just gonna set those there. Oh my God, I didn't even show you guys down here. I forgot to. Oh my God, it's so full. I told you guys, but I forgot to show you that part. So you might have been like, it's not too bad, but. I have a whole nother big cabinet full. Okay, now moving on to the hair products. I'm just gonna, again, pull all the products out. By the way, this is one of my favorite products. Before I blow dry my hair out, I always give it a spritz with this. It magically transforms texture, amazing humidity, proofing powers. It's a really good blowout um, spray, and I put it in my hair when it's wet. This is one of my favorite products when I do tight buns like today. I have this in my hair. Just move down my edges and my sides and just like any flyaways that are poofing up. This is the finishing cream by Way. I just put a tiny dollop and rub it in really good and just lightly brush it through my hair or like finger it through. Okay, now we have to get down to the worst part, which is down here in these cabinets. So shall we? Look at all this skincare. And like this is hair care too. Holy. Is this what you're filming? I haven't even pulled out of down here yet. I only oh. did here and some of the shower stuff. Oh my, y'all wanna see my skincare? I'm sure. I already showed them. It looks like crap, your drawer is so junky. But like, I got more than just skincare. <laughs> okay guys. Really? Really? I mean, it's quite impressive, I can't do that. Okay, now after that twerk, I have the clean. I'm gonna use these tonight. I get so many questions on what I dye my roots with. And this is what I've been using lately. It's number four. Show you guys, that's it. I always just look for her little face. I'm like, where's she at? The same woman. <laughs> yeah, they use different models for every color and this is my girl. So I'm always like, where is she? Um, yeah, it's really quick. And I have to use two boxes because I have a lot of hair, a lot of real estate. Actually, I mean, that's just for your roots or your whole head? Just for my roots only. You have such a small pea head, but there's so much there's hair. so much hair. We got some stuff. I like want to use more stuff, you know, I just... Is uh, this like mainly PR? Yeah, for sure. Like 90% PR? I would like to think so. Look, that green bottle, you saw that stuff on TikTok? That mouthwash you never used? Mm -hmm. I do use! I just so got, I got the moon one, so I've been using that, but this is... <laughs> this is a good one too. Olaplex, this is the shampoo. Love that. More white strips. Love them. I fell asleep in those one time. I'll never wear them again. Aaron, um, were you with me when you did it? Mm-hmm. I don't remember. I remember Aaron falling asleep. Yeah, Aaron did it too. But she went back. She still uses them. I, it scarred me enough to wear never again. This is me. This is real. God. I know. You could never use this skincare in a lifetime. Probably not, that's why we're doing a massive clean out today. I was discussing how I like space more than things, kinda. Okay, we pretty much have the cabinet and drawer on this side clean out as well as this cubby over here. So now I'm just going to give each drawer, they're pretty shockingly clean, so I don't know how they stayed that clean, but I'm gonna just put a little bit of cleanser in there and and I'm just going to wipe each drawer out and give it a good extra sanitary clean. That way we are starting fresh without dust, hair, and clutter in there. Whew, we thought it was clean, it was not. See there, trickery. Clean, it smells so fresh now. I'm gonna do that to each drawer. And that way when we put our trays in, they're not going on top of 
the nasty. These drawers really make it look clean, but my goodness, it's really not. bottom drawer and these are my hair tools so this is from Amazon it's one of my favorite hair tools ever and I'm just gonna organize them by straightening up the cords and put them in here hair tools are never cute to, they're never really cute to store it's one of my hair straighteners I mean it just never looks fabulous I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this con air curler there's nothing wrong with it I'll donate it but I just don't need it. This doesn't go in here. This is the InStyler. I do like this device, so I'm gonna keep it. And then this is my Con Air. I think this is the two inch curler, which I like for just some body in my hair. And this is another one of my hair straighteners by T3. I'm going to also keep my glove. And then I have accessories for my Dyson blow dryer. And then I'm also, this cord is so bulky. I would say that's the only downside to the Dyson. Like the cord is unreal. It's huge. Like this is the fattest cord ever for a blow dryer. But I think, and I could be wrong because I don't know what I'm talking about, but it takes so much power to run these hair dryers. Maybe that's like a lot of electricity, a lot of special cords. I don't know, but look at the difference in size. It's like crazy how thick. So it takes a lot of storage for these blow dryers and they even have these huge boxes on them. So I'm just warning you when you get them, they kind of take up a lot of space in your bathroom, but they're great. Oh my God. It's hard to get it to fit. That's the best we're gonna do, but now they all fit in here and the drawer closes easily. All right, so this drawer is where I typically keep all my hair care products. So unfortunately, I wish I had less drawers, but deeper drawers, so I would love to be able to stand my products up, but unfortunately I have to lay them down. And when you lay them down, they obviously take up double, triple the space. But we're gonna have to lay them down anyway. So let's see what we're keeping. I'm gonna keep this, um, Texture spray from Chia. I picked it up at Marshalls for $9.99 and I do enjoy it. Keep in mind, I keep a lot of my hair stuff downstairs in my beauty room as well. I'm gonna keep my texture foam and my texture spray from Way. I'm also gonna keep my OGX hairspray. This is a dry shampoo from Heritage by Mindy McKnight. Love her and her family. So I'm gonna keep this, I like it a lot, but I am gonna go ahead and get rid of this one. I used it, I love it, but it's almost empty, so I'm gonna let it go. Here's heat styling spray for long lasting smoothness by Living Proof, I'll keep that, as well, as well as the Shine Mist from Way. I am gonna go ahead and let these go. This has to be expired, I used a lot of it, but I just kept the Way Shine Spray, so I don't need this one, and then this product, um, it is castor oil for your hair, and I'm just haven't been using it. This is another dry shampoo. I really can't have enough <laughs> of that. And then we have the body builder. So this is build, hold, and volume by Living Proof. This is moisture for your hair, and then this one is dry shampoo. So I'm gonna keep. I love Living Proof products. Ooh, I'm gonna keep. This one is blowout cream from IGK, which I do like a lot. And then I already told you guys how much I love this. So of course I'm keeping it. And this is an intense moisture mask. Then I have this blow dry primer, which I like. And then as I talked about my finishing cream, and this is the super dry shampoo. So what I think I'm gonna do is actually get rid of the texture foam and keep this guy. This is a really good paste for the hair. It's kind of like the finishing cream. So I'm gonna keep it as well as the solid pomade from Authentic Beauty Concept. I'm going to let go of this. I just have too many dry shampoos. And then lastly, this is a Bumble and Bumble Thermal Protection Mist I'll keep. 
Okay guys, this is the hair drawer. It was packed to the top. I could barely close it sometimes. And this is all that I'm keeping in here. I honestly didn't get rid of a crazy amount of stuff, but it did still make a big difference. I plan on getting rid of most skincare because as you can see, skincare is majority of the problem here. So we'll get rid of more deeper into this video, which we're about to start doing now because this is my overflow skincare drawer, such as big face washes and stuff like that. So what I think I'm gonna do here is start with the drawer that skincare just like I go to and use the most. And then whatever's left over, we'll decide what should go in the overflow drawer. So let's begin. I do love this makeup melt from Tula. I'm gonna put it over here. I wonder if this is empty. <gasps> it is not. I love this water cream from Tatcha. So I'm gonna put it up front. I also love this cream. I've had it forever from La Mer, but guys, it's so big. And <laughs> I'm not even halfway done with it. It's so rich. This was sent to me. It's super bougie, but I'm definitely keeping it. I love it. Um, the Skin Medica. I love Skin Medica. They have great products and I have seen a difference in my skin. So this is the Dermal Repair Cream and I've been using this every night. Pop that in there. I also love Fresh Beauty and this is their Dream Face Cream. It's a really rich moisturizer if you have super dry skin. This is also a product from La Mer. It's the Perfecting Treatment. So this is more of a treatment so I'm going to put it in a separate space. And then this is the Magic Cream from Charlotte Tilbury. I love. I've had this pink cloud cream for a long time. I think I'm gonna let it go from Herbivore. This is one of the best moisturizers. It's the Delicate Recovery Cream. If you have rosacea or sensitive skin or just super dry skin, it's really great. This is my third one, I'm not kidding. This is number three for me, guys. I have been using this like crazy. Let's see, this is Wish Jelly Moisturizer. I haven't really gotten into this one yet and I did wanna try it. Ooh, it feels so thick. I thought it was gonna be really thin, so I think I am gonna end up keeping the Honey Balm. This one I like from Bliss a lot. It is the Vitamin C Peptide Cream, but I might put it in the back because it is a lighter moisturizer. And I like to use the lighter ones for the summer months. And I'm also gonna put my milk moisturizer in the back too. As I mentioned, this is one of my favorite oils for shaving my face, so I'm gonna keep it. And then, <laughs> you guys taught me how to use this. I was like, I cannot figure out what to do. You actually screw the lid off and it pours out, so this is a product from Lancome that is halfway gone, but I'm gonna finish it off. This is also a really great dry face oil and it's from Kate Somerville. And this is a smoothing serum. I think it has retinols in it, so I'll keep it. This I haven't gotten around to trying, but I want to. It's by Victoria Beckham. Cell Rejuvenating Power Serum. That sounds so serious. This is where if I have a zip from Kate Somerville. This is by Obagi, a rejuvenating serum. And this is the Good Jeans from Summer Fridays, which I haven't been using as much but I have been using my Damage Defense Day. This is a daytime treatment I put on by Skin Medica. This is an eye cream from Amor Pacific I'm gonna keep. And this is an eye cream from Tatcha. Ooh, I was like, is it empty? But no, I still have some, so I'm gonna keep it. This is a good daily sunscreen. I keep one in here, one in my beauty room, upstairs, downstairs, everywhere. So I put it on every day. This is empty, so I'm gonna get rid of it. I also like this serum, it's just super moisturizing. You can even put it on under your makeup. And then this is the night one from Skin Medica, so I'll keep it. Never know when you're gonna need tea tree oil, so I don't wanna get rid of it. This is the retinol serum. I love K Somerville. It's like super powerful working skincare, so it's clinical and I love it. Um, but this is the vitamin C treatment by them. And this is another smooth and restore serum by them. I keep all them their serums. I use them all the time. More retinol serums. I just can't get rid of them. I love them, so I'm gonna put them back here. Some of this stuff over here might go into the overflow and all of my mask go down here if you're wondering where those are at. Okay, so I have a few more products for this drawer. The Wrinkle Warrior, I'm gonna put in there. This is the serum stick, so I'm just gonna pop it over here. 
I have two of these, so I'm gonna keep this one in the backup drawer. And then this product here, I am going to get rid of because it's empty. I used the whole thing, and I thought this is a really nice exfoliant. I will say I was able to use it with dry skin often because of how gentle of an exfoliant it is. So if you're looking for one that's not as aggressive, I recommend. Um, this is the biggest bottle of Genesis Peak ever, and Ty got it for me for Christmas because he knows I love it. I think I have to, oh, I have to lay it down. This is some toner that I put in here from Ula. Pop that right there. I'm gonna go ahead and put in my squalene peptide gel for my eyes from Biosots. This is another skin um, product. This is, this is another sunscreen product. So I'm gonna keep it back here. I'm gonna keep this Lancome eye cream in here. And I also have a retinol serum from Kate. I'm gonna put back here as well. And I have a sunscreen from Skin Medica. And then I will also, I wanna get into using this a little more, the Watermelon Glow Drops. So I'm gonna pop those in there. And this is also the Kylie Lotion, so I'll also put this in here. Okay guys, this is my go-to skincare drawer. It is complete. So I'm gonna go ahead and close her up and look at all that we still have to go through. So we only have one drawer empty here and then I have a couple of containers in here right there and then I'm gonna put these in there for mask because some of this is mask but let's see what can fit in our overflow drawer and we'll also be getting rid of some things. Okay, getting started on this drawer. This is the Biosant Squalene Oil. I love this as a makeup remover. I'm going to keep my clean, cleansing products, cleansing products from Tatcha, especially this one. We love Miss Tatcha. I wish, see this one, the products I wish I could leave standing but this is the um, toner from Glow Recipe. So I'm gonna keep her. I am going to keep both of these cleansers for now, but I may end up having to get rid of them. I'm gonna go ahead and let go of my soy soy clean <laughs> my soy face cleansing milk because um, it's a little thin for me it's for a cleansing product. I've almost used this whole bottle of the brightening scrub, so I'm gonna go ahead and let this go from Acure. You can find this at Target. I'm gonna keep my Express Makeup Remover from Rin. I also need to use this because it's getting old, but this is the Extra Creamy Cleansing Mousse from Shiseido, and I love it. And this is one of my favorite cleansers as well from Corez. So I have this product. I think it's a toner. I can't remember what it is. I know it was super expensive from Shiseido, but I haven't been using it, so I'm gonna let it go. Look how dope this bottle is. This cleansing oil is almost empty, so I'm gonna get rid of it. And I also just never got around to using this cleanser. I did use it a couple times and I really liked it, but I just have too many cleansers. I'm actually going to put this Josie Marin moisturizer top honey. Oh, there we go. This is also a bougie spray that was sent to me and I used it for quite a while and I just like, I noticed nothing. So I'm like, why am I using this? So I'm going to get rid of it. Ah, this is one of the products I love so much. It should actually be in my top drawer from, um, Skin Medica. I keep filling this drawer more and more, y'all. You gotta watch me. I, I have multiple of these, so I'm gonna get rid of this overnight glow. This is a night cream. It looks so bomb. I just need to get through a couple. Look how thick it is. Oh! Get rid of some other ones. I've gotten rid of like three or four this month. I've been using so much night cream, but I'll move her up once we do. And then I just have this extra Kate Somerville I'm gonna keep. This is a good makeup remover if you need to like really break down some heavy liner or something. So I'll keep some backup Kate Somerville. This is a gentle cleanser I'm going to keep. This is, okay, so this is a mask. So I'll put that in my mask section. And then I'm just gonna move these moisturizers down here. Take the day off bomb. I'm going to keep. And then this is a, girl, she's gone. So I'm gonna let go of my bubble cream. This is an after sun cooling gel, so I'm gonna keep it. I really need to put this in my closet. I'm gonna put it in my body section. And then this is a toner from Good Habit. And I'm also gonna keep my smaller exfoliate in here. You guys, that's all I'm keeping for this drawer before. It was a wreck, but I just have my cleansers, toners, and I don't know, various products. I kinda had to store them how they'll fit for when the drawer closes. So I have the 
products that can stand up towards the back and then the ones that can lay down for a really good view in front of me. And then I kept all of my cleansers right here. Back up Kate Somerville and stuff like that. Ta-da! Look how much better! Okay guys, here we go into the cabinets. I can't wait to change out this part because it kind of drives me crazy. Okay, so what I like to do is keep mask in these because it's stuff that I'm not reaching for every single day. Ooh. Some of my masks. These are my favorites. I've been using this for years. Whenever I have breakouts, it seriously is magic. I'm gonna keep these. I also have the youthful one. I also like this one because it's brightening. And then I have it in a tube as well. I like to use it way more out of the tube. Um, then in the little pot because I feel like it's messier and I like using this. I have two of these and this one's my backup and I have another one. <laughs> this mask from Tatcha Harper is so bougie, but I used a lot of it, but she is expired. It's, oh, it's the green mask. Okay, it used to not have black on top of it. Oh, I told you it was old. Excuse me. <laughs> she is disgusting and old. And I have a backup. So this is a really great product if you're gonna be doing full body pictures or if you're out on the beach and you want a little blur on your skin and some Lumi. I love my Summer Fridays mask. This one's my favorite if your skin ever gets chapped. Let me put some of this on it. And then I'm gonna keep my sleeping mask. The only thing is I have trouble doing sleeping masks sometimes because I feel like it's like too much on my face when I'm trying to sleep, but I'm gonna keep it down here. And then I have, this is a, another moisturizer. I've never used this, but I want to try it. This is a really good exfoliating mask. This is the Rose Mask from By Terry. And I also have the Pores Away Clay Mask from Dior. And then this is the Essential Hydrating Clay Mask from Jouer. This is also one of my absolute favorites. It's the Pore uh, Mask, the Cold Plunge Pore Mask from Ula. This is the Body I think it's, yeah, it's body butter. So this needs to go in my body drawer, which I'll show you guys at the end. And then I'm also gonna keep the sleeping mask from Fresh. Okay, and then I just have a couple backup moisturizers I'll keep in this drawer. Kate Somerville Glam Glow Moisture Strip. And then I have an extra Coors Greek Yogurt. Okay, and then I have this tanning lotion, which I really wanna try this right now. Um, she needs a shake, but I wanna try this. I tried these out, I they take a really, really, really long time to activate, so I'm skeptical about it still, but I don't wanna get rid of it. I almost forgot my exfoliate mask. Yeah. This is one of my absolute favorite sprays. Oh, you can spray it. You can spray it over your makeup, under your makeup. It's so nice, and it just feels a little bit of hydration and nourishment into your skin. So I feel like I don't need this bag and like all of this stuff, so I'm gonna get rid of it. But I am gonna keep my reusable Q-tips. I lied, I feel like I should keep one of these, so I'm gonna keep this one. I just have some soap, I love Dove soap. We talked about this in my Dollar Tree haul. I'm gonna put my Crest white strips in the top drawer. I wonder if this will fit. I do have these tanning mitts, so I'm gonna put actually back here. Can't believe it, but Clarisonic, the brand, this is gross, but completely ended, like the brand is gone, so crazy. But I'm gonna get rid of this, this is so old. This was sent to me, it's like a little face shaving razor, which I'm gonna try out one day. <laughs> But I'm just gonna keep it right there. And then I just have these two sprays, so I'm gonna keep these down here. I have this peeling gel I wanna keep from Bosha. And then I have these body butters. This one's a sleep mask, so maybe I'll put this in my mask. And with, so I'll put this one in my, with my mask, and then this one's for your body, so I'll put this in my body drawer. Okay, then I have the Lazy Susan Spinner. Focus! Okay, and so I'm gonna put it right down here. And what I like to do is put my backup hair products, like my backup shampoo and conditioner, and stuff like that in there. And look, it fits right under this perfectly, and you can spin it and find all your products. Some of the first products I'm gonna keep are these two products from Way. I have to keep my Olaplex. I'm gonna get rid of these two products. This is a mask, and this is some type of lotion. I'm gonna keep my Bumble and Bumble conditioner. And I'm gonna keep some whey shampoo. I'm gonna get rid of this vanilla hair product. 
I have two deep conditioners and I just like don't need this many. And then this is Pravana shampoo and conditioner I'm gonna keep. And then lastly, I have this essence serum. I'm gonna put in this side. I'm gonna get rid of this because it is a very old a shampoo. This is my honey pot wash. I'm going to keep it. So this is also a backup mouth wash. I'm gonna keep. Okay, we officially have the cabinets cleaned out. This looks insanely better. This does not make it look cute, but I'm putting my simple human mirrors in here now, but at least they fit finally. So that looks so much better. Now I'm gonna be working on these two shelves. So I do have these baskets, I think I got TJ Maxx, but honestly, I hope to not have a situation like this much longer, but for now, I'm just gonna keep stuff in these baskets. Guys, I always have a friend with me. Look at Boo Boo. What are you doing? Hi, handsome. You gonna give me love? You know what? He's missing part of his back foot and he loves to rub it on people. <laughs> he like walks up and he will totally uh, rub his little back leg on you. <laughs> it's so strange. Baby! Love it. <laughs> we call it his nubby rubbies. <laughs> Okay, I have so many hair dryer accessories and one hair dryer, so I'm not really sure how that happened. I don't know why I have two to go to the Dyson, and then I'm gonna get rid of these clips because I don't need that many. I'm gonna put my cold roller in here, and then I don't know why I have so many headbands and scarves, but I'm gonna get rid of them. I'm gonna keep one. <gasps> this is cute. This is from Silk, I think. Okay, for the top row, I have my hair towels right there, and then this is just a basket full of tools. So I'm gonna push that back there, and then I'm going to put my back cloths here, and then I have hand towels I'm going to move to right here. Okay, apparently I need to buy more hand towels. I have three, so I do need to get like some, I need some fresher ones too, but I need a few more hand towels, but that's what that looks like. And then I just organize my makeup eraser cloths and my hair bands in there for when I do masks. So I'm just gonna push those back. And honestly, I need to stage this with more towels, but I don't have them. I did get rid of a couple of different hair towels and stuff I just wasn't using. And now I'm gonna clean this up. Step one, empty out the cabinet. That's always step one. I should probably watch organization shows because I don't know if that's like logically step one, but for me it is. Why do we have this much peroxide? Like we're falling and getting hurt every day of our life. Get rid of these hair dyes because I don't even understand why we have them. There are no more blondies in this house, so I'm gonna get rid of our shimmering lights. So the only thing I really want in here is my husband's shaving kit, his go bag for travel, and towels. This one specifically is my hair dye towel. Whenever I dye my roots, I always use this brown towel so I don't stain my white ones. Also, I don't know why I've had this towel for years and I just love it, so she stays. Then I bought this and our towels that we used to dry off with. I got all of these at like Home Goods. They have such nice towels there. And I'm just gonna keep a couple of these. I also got at Home Goods. I'm probably gonna get rid of these soon though because I don't love them and they're getting a little old. They're like kind of rough feeling. The shapes on them are actually not that soft. I've had them for so long though, so I feel like they got their use. I'm actually gonna get rid of a couple of towels so I don't have like overflowing towels. Okay, these cabinets don't look as cute as I would like, but my God, they look so much better. So now we're gonna move on to these drawers over here. So a lot of this stuff is my husband, so I won't be getting rid of it because it's like not my stuff, but I will help organize it so it looks a lot better. So I think I might get rid of one or two things because the drawer is a little crazier than I thought. Ty! Ty! Are you gonna be on camera? Shirt off. <laughs> Let's start this over. In three, two, one. Wow. No, I need, no, this isn't the reveal. No, there's no. I'm so excited. <laughs> Look, it's not even clean. Okay, I need you to get rid of some stuff. <gasps> That's why you called me up here? Yeah. Oh my good. 
First of all, I'm embarrassed at the amount of beard hair that's in it. <laughs> it is gross. Um, I don't really see the beard hair, so that's why I don't clean it. I kind of like have stuff stacked so up. So what can we get rid of? Um, I would probably never use this deodorant. Love that. What is this? He doesn't beard eat. oil, beard oil. I have so many. You have to get rid of Beard some. control. CBD for your beard. Why is yeah. your beard? Hey, beard? chill out, <laughs> okay? No, this is a leave-in conditioner for my beard. So my beard will be soft because you always but complain why is there when it's CBD rough. In it? I'm keeping that. Just leave it alone. <laughs> Keep this and I don't need that. Throw that away. Throw that away. And I mean, I don't necessarily need this. Do you want that? It's so cute. I don't want to get rid of it well, for travel. Maybe keep it in a travel bag rather than my thing here. I'm missing it. Like the amount of beard hair. Give what? me stuff to get rid of. You're not Wait, why would I get rid of that? That's a perfectly good razor. Thank you. Give me more. You're cluttery. I know. Is this? Get rid of. Oh, you know. Do you like it's that? It's hairspray. Which one do you want? I occasionally need it. Oh my God, I forgot I had this. Let's get rid of it. No, why would we get rid of that? It was when I had razor bumps. <laughs> Leave it. Oh my God. You never know. I mean. All right, can we get this, rid of this? I know you've had this before. No, I use this. Oh. What about that? You don't use I don't that. use that. All you right. can do whatever you want with that. Bye. Um, All right, that's Dry good. volume, this is, I think you. Like that's dry no, shampoo? I think this is yours. It's volume spray. Oh, well then that must be mine then. Okay, that's better. Uh, yeah. Clean I it out. I need to dump out the beard hair, but. Clean it. This is old. Yeah, I only have one of these left, and these smell so bad that I don't mind throwing it away. <laughs> they literally smell like caca. Ew! They do. Oh my God. They make your face smell like shit the whole time you're wearing <laughs> <laughs> Trash. I don't have hair, so I don't know why that hair tie is in there. What do I do? <laughs> <laughs> Those are my steroids. <laughs> like you gave me this, and I just never used you it. You never use it. Okay. Please, both this of too? these bomb products. Yeah, yeah, I'll keep, I'll keep. I use this all the time. Guys, That's in cool. case you're wondering. You Old don't Hendrix. even know. Ulu Hendrickson. Um, this keep, is keep, another. Keep. Oh, do you want to get rid of that? Yeah, no, keep. I mean, and the rest of those are keep. I don't have retainers anymore, so we can get rid of that. What's in there? Oh, ah, are these your teeth? <gasps> Wait. They gave me. Oh no, I know what this is. These are my teeth. They gave me <gasps> these. Where's that little injection thing? You threw oh, it in here. Oh shoot! It's teeth whitening. I was supposed to use it. And how many times did you use it? Zero. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to wear to stop grinding my teeth at night. Yeah, maybe you should keep them. This one, line feels like. No, they're like a perfect match for my teeth. What if I need? go find me the Dyson? I gotta get this beard hair up. The little one. Mm, the okay. little handheld, and I'll back you. And then this is you. Okay. That's where Laura keeps all her tampons. She likes to keep them close by me. <laughs> and then this is you as well. Yeah. That's so. A lot. Thank I'm you. So I fill it back up with Do beard Do you need hair. this? Yeah. Should I help? Or are you okay. like trying to do your own thing here? Yeah, you can help. Some stuff you gotta lay down because it's too tall. I don't have two of these, I don't know. Awesome. Cool. Thank you for doing that. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got we this. Gotta do this <laughs> you know, you're done, didn't you? Walking away. That's where that goes. <laughs> So I'm gonna put your fragrances here where you have them already. Skin care. Skin care I got up here. But. Just slide it in this gap. All right, now we're moving on to my stuff again. You may leave. <laughs> Honestly, this drawer is feminine products. Like, it doesn't even need to like be cleaned out. It just needs to be organized. So I'm just putting stuff where it goes. All righty. Voila, we have a clean drawer, so I have everything organized nicely in here. And then lastly, we are just gonna go through the sheet mask. And I neglect these so much, and I hate myself for it because I love a good sheet mask. I am gonna get rid of a few of them just because like, I have too many. We're gonna keep Miss Tatcha. And I think this will be a good one too. Um, I love these rubber shake masks. They're fun. We have By Terry, Lancome. Okay, so I'm not getting rid of any. 
Okay, I actually added to this drawer, I put my rubber mask here, my sheet mask here, cotton balls, and peroxide and alcohol in there. Okay guys, I didn't show you this drawer before, but this is just another one of my large drawers. I have a lot of these around the house. So I'm gonna organize it and just clean it up a bit and probably get rid of a couple. Okay, I actually have, like why do I have more skincare in here? Oh my gosh. So I'm actually gonna get rid of these. I don't really wear these. They're almost like word pins as much. They're super trendy for a minute and trust me, I loved them, but I have so many and I just don't use them. I feel like trends go so fast. I am one to, I am I am a bit of a trend follower, I would think. I, I enjoy it. Like it's fun to um, be involved in like latest trends and just trying out new things. I love change to an extent. I love change and I do like to try out different things, especially when it comes to makeup, hair, beauty, especially in those areas in my life. I love switching it up. That's why I like randomly will just cut my hair off and stuff like that because I don't know, I get bored kind of quickly and like when new trends come, it's always very exciting for me. And the thing is, I definitely don't like every trend that comes about. I just don't. But I definitely pick a few or try out a few. And ones that I really like or that work for me in my life, I will follow. So I guess I am kind of a trend follower to an extent. Okay, guys, this is the only thing I'm going to get rid of because it is expired. But this drawer looks so much better. I have everything organized. And I even have a few empty trays. Okay guys, we didn't get rid of one. I think the bags are overflowing. I think if I put it correctly in the bags, I would have three bags filled. But for now we have two overflowing bags and this is all the stuff we got rid of and this doesn't seem like a lot looking at it, but I'm telling you, it is a ton because look at the difference. We have so much space. Every drawer has extra space. My cabinets have so much space. It looks amazing compared to what it did look like, so I'm obsessed. I even strained up the shower stuff as well. And here is the bathroom reveal. <gasps> yeah. So gorgeous. By the way, this bathroom gets the best lighting in the house. So this is the bathroom reveal. I love the way it looks. It looks much better, less clutter, and very clean. I am going to be making a few um, renovations to this bathroom to enhance its beauty. So let me know in the comments if you want to see that. But that's it for this video, guys. Be sure to subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye, guys. It is nighttime now, and I almost forgot to share with you my body drawer. So this is in my closet, and I just keep a drawer full of body stuff because when I get out of the shower I like to moisturize and put on some body lotions before I get dressed. This is one that I found in there, Skin Dope. And then these are some that I just had. This is one of my favorite scents on earth. It's from Urban Outfitters and yeah, Cote de la Palme. I don't know if I pronounced that right. And then I also found this one I've been wanting to use. Charlotte Tilbury. One of you guys told me this is a big face cream that costs $200. This was sent to me. I've been putting it on my body and now it's almost empty and I hate myself for it. Every time I look at it, I'm like, you idiot. Find just a few more in there.